It's 2020, the start of a new year. Now, I know a lot of people on YouTube right now are taking a retrospective of the stuff they did in 2019. But we like to do things a bit different here on Atomic Shrimp, so I thought I'd share with you a few things I didn't do. Specifically, this is five things I said no to in 2019. So I guess this is my YouTube 2019 unwind? So let's start with the mildest and least offensive example and work up. A polite request from Studio 71 to adopt them as management for my YouTube channel. Now I've only heard good things about multi-channel networks from people running multi-channel networks. Most of what everyone else seems to say is a bit, well, sometimes a lot, negative. In all honesty, I don't know how good or upstanding these guys are or not, so I won't badmouth them. But scrolling down their existing list of clients, do you see me fitting in here? I don't think so. So I said, no thanks. Someone called Madison from Amarox contacted me, hugely excited about a major new feature called Transparency Mode. Reading the blurb and trying to Google around a bit, I couldn't actually figure out whether Transparency Mode was a feature of some noise-cancelling headphones or a web tool for monetizing and monitoring YouTube traffic. Despite the offer for free access to the service and to help shape where they go with this existing new product, I was unclear what was on offer, so I just said, no thanks. My loss, maybe. Sarah, supposedly from Dream Digital, a company that claims to be able to provide authentic views, subscribers and likes on social media, including YouTube, contacted me to offer services. I initially said no thank you, but Sarah begged me for a chance to explain how it worked. I probably should have stood firm, but I like to think I'm a reasonable person, so I said I'd listen if she would briefly outline her services. So the service is ostensibly an advertising deal where they direct traffic to the customer's site or social presence, and that traffic generates views, likes, subscriptions, supposedly. Now, if this is true, it's not the same as simply buying likes that will be fulfilled by bots or some such. Thing is, I don't think my channel's what you'd call YouTube mainstream, so even if this service was legit, I don't know it would be worth promoting to the markets where they would be placing their ads. So I asked if they'd work with any other channels like mine. I asked for examples. Sarah said she couldn't give me any due to confidentiality concerns. That's right, their service is legit. They have satisfied customers who don't want to be named. Right. Does anyone else smell what I'm smelling here? Sarah gave me a link to the testimonials page on their site, which loaded a series of the most generic one-liners you could imagine. And that was the end of that. I have no idea, really, whether this service is legit, or a front for some activity that violates YouTube terms, or even if the person who contacted me really works for said company, or is just a scammer trying to rake in some fast cash independently of a perhaps legit business. Her email address was, after all, just a Gmail address, not the domain of the company she was claiming to work for. Maybe that's normal. But to me, the whole thing stank to high heaven, and I was glad when the conversation was finally over. Next time, no means no from the start. Joanna emailed me to say, Hey, I noticed that ye have cool YouTube channel. We provide a unique service for YouTube. Using our service, ye can increase the number of subscribers, views, likes. Everything from real accounts from different countries. Are ye interested in this? I said, Avast, Joanna. That be not something I'd be requiring at this hour. Yo-ho, matey. I've had a lot of offers for free products to review this year, all of which I declined, mostly because they came with expectations attached, or outright violated the terms of Amazon, etc. Number one has to be this one, though. A manufacturer of car accessories contacted me to ask if I would review their product, which at first I took to be a car dash cam, but on closer examination turned out to be a supposed driving aid. The idea is, it's an 8-inch screen that you mount below your front windscreen with a camera facing the road. It advertises itself as night vision, but in fact it's not performing any true night vision functions. It's just playing a near real-time view of the road with software enhancement of brightness and contrast. The idea is, if it's too foggy or rainy to see where you're going, or if your eyesight is too poor to see properly at night, you look at this little screen instead. That's right, you drive your car along, unable to see where you're going, except for what you can see on this tiny, terrible little screen. It gets better. Well... Worse, the product description has some cautionary notes, one of which says, When the oncoming lights are brighter than that of your environment, NVS will show temporary white image, which is normal. So let's get this straight. You're driving along in the dark, ruining your night vision by peering at a brightened image on a tiny 8-inch illuminated screen. The lights of an oncoming vehicle cause the screen to white out completely, further impairing your night vision. Now you can only see white on the screen, and nothing at all out of the darkened window. The reviews on this product on Amazon are also sickeningly, glowingly positive. I can only imagine they came from people who, like me, were contacted for paid reviews, but said yes. Let's take a look. 
Teresa writes, I have a Benz C300 which comes without night vision. I was surprised and curious when coming across Landmodo Vast, so I bought one to see how it works. The night vision system is easy to install and its image at night is great. Thank you, Amazon, and thank you, Landmodo, for creating such an amazing product. (laughs) (coughs) Joe Weber writes, After receiving the product, I was first amazed by the beautiful 1080p 8.2-inch screen. After taking the night vision out of the package, I was happy to see if it came with the two different mounting systems it described and an option for a rear camera, which is super handy to have. I decided to test it out at night and it really did an amazing job capturing a very clean lit up image that made driving at night feel much safer. I would highly recommend this product to anyone who's thinking about buying it. It exceeded my expectations and more. Exceeded and more. Hmm. Anyway, John Skinner writes, This Landmodo night vision is definitely awesome. The road conditions are very clear on its screen, in full colour image. Now it's much safer and comfortable for me when driving at night. Actually, since often drive at night, I once have a dash cam, which claims to help safe driving at night with quality night vision, while it is not. The image is in black and white and totally unclear at night. It seems this Landmodo night vision camera can also be used in rainy days. I am looking forward to testing it. We'll keep updating. And my personal favourite was this one. Someone only known as BKC writes, My wife doesn't see very well at night. Her early morning drive to work was difficult for her, so I was looking for some to make her feel comfortable driving. This product is great. She can now see all of the landmarks and is at ease with her drive. In short, she knows where she is during her morning drive. She loves this product and I love how it makes her feel. Now listen, if your wife can't see at night, she shouldn't be driving in the dark. It's really that simple. A tiny 8-inch screen with fake night vision that only works intermittently. It's false help at best. Now, I didn't exactly say no to this review. I just replied to ask if it was legal to use one of these in the UK. I didn't get any reply to that question, so I posted a review on Amazon to ask it there. A little while later, it seems this product was withdrawn from the market. So there we go. That's five things I said no to in 2019. My YouTube unwind. I'm looking forward with eager anticipation to what I can decline in 2020. Thanks for watching, Happy New Year, and I hope to see you again soon.